Waka waka, you just a waka anyhow. Just so scatter scatter. One man way to life trouble. It was on a breezy Sunday evening. The clouds were full of waters waiting to pour down the earth. People were heading to their different houses. There, in the midst of this chaotic environment, a young man in his early twenties sits in a shed behind a door on a comfortable chair, relaxed as he blows a cigarette smoke out of his mouth. Oh, man, this weather is just perfect. Oh. What was that? Was that thunder or a gunshot sound? Hey, you! Freeze there! Don't you move! Guy, chill now. It's not as if I was going anywhere, sir. So. Are you not afraid? Does it look as if I'm a joker? I'm not playing games, though. My friend, would you get down right down the floor? Or I will forget these bullets in your head. Femi! Femi! Mommy said you should come. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 just join Mom us. Wait. It's okay. Hey, join sorry, us. Please, Stay sir. there. Please, sir. Now, sorry. Back to you, sorry. Mr. Macho. Please, sir. Go inside the house. And bring all that money. You hear me? Or else, I will just kill your sister. Huh? Here. Get, 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 get. Leave my sister out of this. You hear me, Bumi? We are get back inside the house. No, no. Do, do, do I look as if I am joking? Get. If you love your life, lie down there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. it would be better for you to tell your brother. Let to... me say hi. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm sorry, eh? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please, please, remind me again. What did uh, you say we should get for you? Guy, guy relax, relax now. It's not, it's not gotten to that stage now. Relax, uh, we be, we be street now. You know all these things, you know. It's okay. For me, for me, for me gone. Mr. Man, I don't no. want to talk too much. No, it's you okay. hear me? Okay. Don't try this nonsense here ever again. Mm -hmm. Even if say you high, mm -hmm. don't try and near my cabal. Show you they hear me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now get out from this place, I beg. Tiot. Femi, Femi, where did you get a gun from? And what do you need a gun for, Femi? Now, Bumi, please, 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 eh? Let's not start this afternoon, ah? Huh? I was even thinking you'll be thanking me for scaring away that fool. Thank you. Femi, does Bumi even know you have a gun? Bumi, now, this is where I have to warn you very carefully. If mommy ever gets to hear about what happened here today, hmm. Bumi, you won't like the Femi you would see, oh. Femi, you're not treating me, Bumi. You're not treating me too. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not like that. I'm sorry. I just don't want mommy to hear about this. That's all. This gun is for my protection. Just like what happened here now. It's for my protection, nothing more. You hear? Now, promise me you won't tell her anything. Okay, I promise. Good. Now let's go in before she starts wondering what's keeping us out here. Alright. You know carry come, you know go carry go. Nobody go to check what's in here, oh. Yes, so customer, wait till I go food for you. <laughs> I want rice and stew with meat. If you get better fish, eh, join them too. But I'm Sabi! But I'm Sabi, how you doing now? Ah, Femi, now you be this. <laughs> Lamio. You don't tell oh. where you go now. <laughs> Eh, yeah, I see me guy reach out, so how market now? I beg again, just help me bring my usual black bottles. Okay, I they come. Ah, madam, what is the meaning of this now? I came here before this guy, but you just served him now. See if you don't want to attend to me, just And let me... if you don't have enough money to buy whatever it is you came here to buy, kindly say so and don't use me as your point of reference. Excuse me, are you talking to me? At one end of Madame Sabi's shop, Lillian. A beautiful young girl stares at them as she drinks a chilled glass of juice. She looked like she was enjoying the scene. Then, back to Femi. I'm not talking to you. Aside that calm, beautiful lady over there whose beauty struck me the moment I came in. <laughs> I really don't see anyone else here. So, what do you think? I don't think you are well. Mm -hmm. You need to examine yourself and mind the way you talk to people. 
You can as well have the whole place to yourself. Mm. Easy, dear. Don't enjoy yourself in the process. <laughs> Hello, beautiful one. Mind if I join you? You can sit. Ah, wow. I could have sworn I heard your laughter over there. Oh. Well, I choose when to laugh and when not to. Right now, I don't feel like laughing. Ah, why now? Are you okay? Really, it looks like something is bothering you. Oh, uh, pardon my manners. My name is Femi, third year, mechanical engineering. What about you? Lillian, fresher, mass communication. And I'm waiting for my roommate to come back with the house keys. Oh, <laughs> that is what is pissing you off, right? Fresh student. Hmm, that's nice. So, um, how do you see the school? Boring. No fun. Right. You know, I said the same thing to the very first day I came in. So what do you say now? Let's hang around, you know, and you catch some fun. Just to let you know that we are not all bad, after all. <laughs> I don't know about that now, but uh, I will think about it. All right. Okay. No problem. I am a man of great patience. Take all the time you need, all right? But, um, Liz, come on. Can I have your phone number? Man of great patience. I stay at Marvel Lodge, Block D. Ask for me and they will mm. call me out. Okay, oh. you're really smarter than I thought. <laughs> anyway, I have to go now. I have to meet up with somebody. I would uh, see you around, right? Madam Sabi, I beg uh, your money there on top table. Oh. Okay, my um, correct customer. All right, bye. Madam, can I have a pack of cigarettes? Ah. Guy! Guy, where you dead? Ah-ah, uh -uh, Femi. I beg, no Femi me. Guy, come out, come out, come out, I beg. Uh, didn't I tell you I was coming? Bro, hold on, Joe. I'm taking my bath. Besides, you're an hour late, so stop complaining, Joe. You don't cook? Yes, in fact, I cooked fried rice and salad with chicken. <laughs> Foolish boy. <laughs> Do I look like your mother? <laughs> but I told you I was coming today now. Uh, and you told me you were going to cook. I mean, you don't forget. Ah, that's why I was rushing down here, oh. How far? In fact, that's so wonderful of you. Go to the kitchen, eh? You will see some food stuff there. Cook for us. It won't kill you. I have a friend that is coming, and he's coming to teach me some things in chemistry. So I don't have time to cook. Mm. So you now have a new friend, Abby. <laughs> no, no, you know. But my guy, you know I can't cook without the sweet vegetable now. Huh? Do you have any in the house? See, see, see. Femi, I have stopped smoking, oh. I have stopped everything that concerns weed. Mm, that thing dealt with me in the last two weeks and I swore to stop it. <laughs> Story for the gods. Why am I even asking you when I know where you must have hidden it? I beg, shift. Oh, Femi. Femi, stop, Jerry. You're scratching my room, oh. It's not as if you want to arrange. Ah, yeah, yeah, it is. Neatly packing. Yeah. Now I can cook. I mean, I don't use those stuffs again, you know. It's only you that would eat that food if you put that weed inside. Ah, better, oh. <laughs> what was he doing in your house in the first place? Besides, haven't you read of the medicinal aspect of ganja? Why do you people dislike this guy so much when all he does is makes you feel good? Hey, bro, how far? I hope I came at the right time. Hours later, three young men are sprawled on the floor with plates of food and books littered around. Ugo had entered the house and after some time perceived the aroma of the food from the kitchen and made his interest to eat. Ibrahim hid the content of the food from Ugo so he doesn't look like a bad person and Femi happily dished the food for all of them. Mm. Mm. Ah, oh, Femi. Hmm? Femi, it's already night. How long have you been sleeping? I won't take no now. Was I supposed to keep track of time too as we sleep? Ugo. Ugo. Ah, wake up now. What kind of sleep is this? Ugo. Ugo! Ibrahim, who was so scared that Ugo was not responding to his call, lashed out on Femi, who was also unsure 
of what to do. You caused all this. I told you not to put that thing inside your food. You won't listen. Hope you're happy now that he's not waking up. In the heat of getting high, people forget that they could also go higher towards their death. <sighs> now, what really happened to Ugo? Is he dead or is he actually in a deep sleep? Find out in the next episode of The Altered One. This radio drama is brought to you by the FCTA. Society policy, cooking is a policy. Young boy, rent a school, join a robbery. All for the money, small girl selling body. Now tell me I don't care. If you don't carry gum, you no go carry go. Nobody go fit check waiting here. Oh, Cairo, the visa. Plenty what I know they make.